Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to make your foundation last longer if you've got very oily skin. Now a little bit of oiliness is never a bad thing, it can look very nice if you have a healthy glow on your skin, but if you have a very very oily t-zone or your whole face is glowing all the time and your foundation is smearing off during the day, then here are a few tips for you. The first tip is to skip any cream moisturizers under the makeup and instead use products that only hydrates the skin. So for example, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus to give some moisture. You could also use a gel cream, treatment lotions or serums to give the moisture to the skin. But if you've got dry patches, apply the cream moisture on those places, but avoiding the oily areas. The second tip is to use a pore minimizing and mattifying primer on the skin and I'm using the Bobbi Brown Skin Smoothing Pore Perfector. Most of the people who have oily skin have also large pores so this will help to make the skin more even and make it a little bit more matte so it doesn't look so oily. And I'm only applying this on the T-zone where I usually get the most oily. But if you've got oiliness on the whole face, you could apply this everywhere else as well. Tip number three. Use a mattifying and blurring powder before your foundation application. This will create a barrier between the foundation and the skin and absorb any excess oils before hitting the foundation. But remember to apply a very very small amount because usually it's not a good idea to apply a powder before a liquid. I'm using the new Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder by Maybelline and I'm applying this with a damp beauty blender and this will of course also make it less cakey and take away the excess powderiness from the skin. Tip number four, use a long wear oil-free foundation. In this case I'm using the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Foundation in the shade 3 Beige and this has SPF 15 in it. But bear in mind, if you are looking at an oil-free foundation, but it has a very high SPF, it usually is a little bit oily, because the higher the SPF, the oilier the foundation. But in this case it only has 15, so I like because it does give a little bit of protection to my skin, but still it doesn't make it oily. And tip number five, apply the foundation very lightly on the areas where your foundation tends to separate, if it does that for you and this for me is around the mouth area and I've noticed that the thicker I apply the foundation the better you can see the separation and it separates a lot easier. And the next tip is to use a liquid concealer instead of a creamy concealer. I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. And this product has a semi-matte finish, so it doesn't dry out my under eyes, but still it stays in place the whole day. Tip number six. Always remember to set your makeup with a powder. And in this case I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix setting powder. And there is differences between powders, so remember to use a powder that is mattifying, so that it absorbs the excess oils on your skin. The powder also gives a good base for other powder products, so for example when we are applying highlighters, bronzers, contouring, blushes, they blend a lot easier than if we were to apply it straight on the foundation. Tip number seven, when applying contours, highlighters, blushes and bronzers, use powder products instead of creams. Creamy products will make your skin look a lot more shiny faster than the powder products will. Here I'm using the NYX Love Contours All Palette for contouring and highlighting. And for the blushes I'm using the NYX Butt Naked Turn the Other Cheek Palette and the Sigma Aura Powder in the color Corderosa. And the last tip is to finish off your foundation routine with a finishing spray. After applying so many different powders on our skin, it can look very dry and cakey, so this will take away the powderiness and make it very smooth and glowy. Here I'm using the MAC Fix Plus finishing spray, and this one contains more water in it than alcohol, 
but if you want a more hardcore setting spray you will want to look for one that contains more alcohol than water. For me I feel like all the prepping and priming and powdering is enough to keep my makeup staying in place and I feel like the setting sprays with alcohol tend to dry out my skin very much so this is why I'm not applying one and I want one with more hydration. Okay guys, here was a few tips how to keep your makeup last longer if you've got oily skin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one. Also, if you'd like to see me, myself and I more often, go and check out my Instagram page where I post small Insta tutorials more frequently. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Another cat